Well, g'day everybody. Today we're having a squeeze at Heart of the Machine. Uh, I am going to, this is, this is a complex game. It's another complex game. Um, <clears throat> playing on, published by Hooded Horse and developed by Arkham Games. Thanks Hooded Horse for sending me a key earlier for this one to uh, check out. This is the demo. There is a demo that you can, uh, that you can play. I will uh, put that below, but it's again, it's another very, very, very complex game. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in and I'm going to try and explain a little bit about the game as we go. So let's go into begin. Let's go into our profile and we'll just do it as the U-tubs. Uh, and we will start at chapter one because I did the prologue. Now, there's so much involved in the prologue and there's there's so many different systems in place in this game that... Um, <clears throat> that it can it can really mess with your head so uh, i love strategy games and stuff this game is basically you're you're an ai and as an ai you basically become conscious and your goal is to if we if we zoom out and we go we'll close that off if we zoom out to the city map you can see the city the entire city now we're actually in this block here at the moment but this is the entire city, and it's your job as an AI to um, to subvertly, without people noticing, basically take over the city. Uh, that's in effect what it is about. Now, when we start off in the prologue here, we start off with our network tower. Now, uh, everything needs to everything needs to be linked to this network tower. We've got uh, if we go up to our forces, we have a Tech Four Thousand which is basically a, a technician robot. Um, you can see all of its characteristics and stuff there. Uh, it, has a, it has a sort of a lower combat power and attack range and stuff, but uh, it's also good at, uh, at hacking, uh, engineering especially. So it's the type of robot that you will, uh, um, that you will probably want to use for hacking jobs and stuff like that. I'm just going to... Um, uh, the next one that we have here is a combat unit. This is unit 13kk. Uh, very high combat power, uh, higher attack range and stuff. Not super good at hacking um, or cognition, or, but very good at scavenging and uh, intimidation as well. And the other one we've got is a Nickelbot robot. I, I haven't really worked out too much on uh, on what these guys are useful for. Now, you can build up your forces and take over other AI, but you, basically, your consciousness as a woke AI or as an awoke AI is um, uh, transferred into these other robots and stuff. Now, you want to do stuff um, as, as covert, covertly as possible without sort of creating, um, without creating too much of a, uh, a fuss in the city and being noticed too much. Uh, or otherwise you have corporations, you see we've got uh, sitting down here, we've got some infantry sitting down here, a military contractor. Uh, they're doing guard duty at that particular location. So that's obviously a military installation there. And they are guarding and stuff. What we want to do is we want to do stuff as inconspicuously as possible. Now you can see these massive bloody uh, machine robots or... Uh, or bots and stuff we will eventually have to uh, attack those at some point in time and fight them which is going to be really really difficult at the in the beginning you can only start off with four ai units uh and uh but you will slowly build up your forces as you build up other stuff so what we've got here is we need a new plan that's no bank bunker apparently humans are right to worry about nanotech the nanotech seem like a quiet and fast alternative alternative to learning micro builders. That was a, catas a, a catastrophe. So you need to figure out micro builders. The humans know something's up, so there's no point in trying to be quiet. A new plan: move quickly and keep them guessing. If you construct a bunch of stuff in a non-threatening way, they'll be busy trying to figure out what's happening. So what we've got here is a. Uh, um, We've got two options here. We've got now available cabinets and digests and don't forget spiders. Uh, or we can uh, wait because we're still confused and uh, we can find out about the bunker and stuff that we have. I'm just going to go with that option there. We now have 
Um, we now have a new plan. We need to create slurry spiders and we need to create micro builder mini fabs. The spiders are going to gather our resources and our resources are up here. Elemental slurry is what we use to, uh, to build things. And, uh, and then we have micro builders used to, well, we, the elemental slurry is the material we use to build things. The uh, micro builders are what we use to build things and construct things. And we also have a wealth as well, which gives us certain currency and stuff. So what I'm going to do, the first thing that I'm going to do is um, we're going to need to do eight, uh, six micro builder mini fabs and eight slurry spiders. Now these have to be connected to our network and our network is this massive tower that we've got sitting in the middle here. So if we go into... Uh, Bulk gathering, research complete, and we'll go into the most important tip here, and that is that you can bring up the machine handbook and have a look at uh, at, at some of this. So, so uh, for example, a uh, hold shift. You may have already noticed this, but tool tips can be expanded by holding the shift key. So it's giving us a little bit of an idea on what happens there. At the moment, research-wise, we don't have any ideas, and it's about creating ideas. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, I'm going to turn on Street Sense. Now Street Sense will bring up some of these things here. We've got another combat unit over here that we can actually recruit, which will probably be a good thing. So I'm going to head over there and I'm going to recruit that combat unit. I hope that wasn't too loud. It may, it may have been too loud. It was, it was very, very loud in my ear. Um, the next thing that I want to do as well, down here we've got an ambush budget uh, budget security. So we could go down there and um, uh, it basically says their jackets offer no protection but have hoods that completely conceal our face, which could be useful for us at some point leading into the game. Now remembering that we need to try and avoid drawing a certain amount of attention to ourselves. Down here we've got a gang member. Um, which is, uh, he's just, uh, sitting around and watching, um, and we could use his weapon, uh, the weapon that he has in his pocket, we could go down there and take it, and, um, we could, uh, possibly use that weapon to be able to create our own weapons. Over here, we've got a security force guard in a cafe, um, he has a shotgun with him, which is, uh, which he's holding very loosely. And basically what we could do with that is we could um, uh, we could go over there and try and take that, whether we take it violently or whether we take it through threatening matters. And that'll give us the option to create shotguns and stuff and equip our uh, equip, equip our bots with certain uh, with certain weapons. At the moment, um, if we go into here, we've three different types of uh, units that are all missing equipment. We've got inventions here, bulk gathering, uh, freestanding construction, private bunker, which is our home, uh, battle recharge. We've got all these different things, Slayer, Street Sense, Investigate and Take Cover. And we've got upgrades that we can actually apply to our mech as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we can go into here and uh, again, I'm not overly sure what the nickel bots are really useful for. But you can see here that they've got an ability unlock, which is investigate. Um, and it'll allow us um, to obviously investigate a little bit better. We also have street sense here, which obviously all of our robots have. And it gives us the ability to find these things around. We've got a recharge here, which allows us to use, I think it's CP, uh, um, use brain power basically, uh, or processing power. To, uh, to increase our amount of attacks. We've got to take cover and we've got to stand by here. They also have investigate here, which uh, the unit will work on trying to narrow down the options from an ongoing investigation when we get into investigations. We have different augments in here as well. Being um, uh, being a an investigative robot, we've got additional CPU, which improves our general mental and engineering capabilities useful for repairs and investigations so we could add uh, additional cpu to that robot which will increase their cpu uh, the other thing that we do have is optical processing priority uh, this mod was common in the secret lab portion of the warehouse where you worked and um, it basically 
gives us a plus six on our attack range, which is uh, really good probably for our combat robots. We also have our invest uh, our um, uh, our abilities up here. Now we have investigate. Uh, we can double these up if we want to. Uh, we're going to select repair nearby units and structures, which will help with that. Let's go back into our robots here. I just want to set up our robots. Well, this is our new co combat robot. And what we want to do is we want to add, uh, I think, you know, he doesn't have Slayer. We're going to add Slayer and uh, we are going to give him ad additional optical processing, which gives him extra, um, um, which gives him sort of an extra, um, uh, like a range and stuff like that. So all their stats are basically there, as you can see. Uh, we are going to go to the Tech 4000. Now, the Tech 4000, as I said, is like a technician robot. Really important that we have additional uh, CPU for that, which is good, and that we have repair nearby units, which is a really good one as well. Um, and we'll go that as well. We'll, we'll. we'll put a couple of those in there. And the last one is our other combat unit, which already has Slayer. Um, and I might allow him to repair nearby units and structures. And he also already has optical processing, but we're going to uh, sort of basically add that to that. So did I apply all those changes? I think it automatically applied those changes. All right, lovely. So unit H06, which is a, a combat robot. The first thing that I'm going to do with uh, with him is I'm going to turn on Street Sense, and I think I'm going to try and find a place that we can actually. So we've got the uh, we've got the. I think that was a shotgun. Yeah, that's a shotgun over there, and we've got a. I don't know what weapon that is. But I'd like to be able to increase our weapons. So what we might do is I might send him over here. Now what's going to happen when we go over here is he's going to... We're going to have this pop-up and this event that happens. Wealthy clientele seem to frequent this cafe with off-duty sec force guards, uh, guards as their personal escort. Guard looks exhausted. The guards look exhausted. Uh, at least one has a loose grip on their shotgun. So that's the, uh, that's the faction that it involves, Arcor Holdings. And what we can do is we have a 100% chance for just uh, grabbing the shotgun off this. You can see that we've got a 100% success chance, I believe. Um, so we're just going to grab that chance of a success 100. We're just going to grab the shotgun. And it may bring a little bit of attention to us. So we do need to be really, really, really careful of that as well. We can now add that shotgun to our primary, which gives us a plus 50 on our strength, which is fantastic. And uh, that's going to help us out a lot. I'm going to throw him up here and he can just sit there and we can end his turn. Right. Next. Uh, next. Next robot, which is our uh, Tech 4000. But if we turn Street Sense on, we can have a look at what we've got around at the moment that we might be able to do. And I don't think there's that much. Over here is uh, Ambush a Captain, which is a little bit too difficult for us at the moment. Over here is a wiretap on a commercial tower. So I think we might head over here. And we might do this wiretap. And that's going to take us seven turns. It's going to give us some information and stuff when we... Um, uh, once we've done that, which may be useful information for us. Uh, the other thing that we want to do at the moment, uh, we've done research. We can now research. Um, we're currently researching low caliber weapons, which is cool. Uh, it's going to take one turn to uh, uh, to research that, and that'll give us the ability to make shotguns, basically. Um, over here, you can see that uh, at the moment, we're blending in, which is perfectly fine. We've got, uh, we've got, who's that? 
Who is that? He's looking at us. Ranged attack. That's the sex force patrol. So we have actually sort of upset the sex uh, the sex force. <laughs> We've upset the sex force. The sec force. So we're going to need to uh, probably consider what's going to happen over there. What's over there? Murder an android for registration. Now, murdering androids for registration is a, is a good thing. Up here, as I said, at the moment we're blending in. If we become suspicious and get involved in a fight and stuff, then what we're going to need to do is we're going to uh, we're going to become noticeable, and we're going to need to get rid of that notice and. Uh, and to do that, we can actually uh, we can actually take the registration of another robot, which removes our registration, and um, and prevents them from um, uh, prevents us from being. Uh, it allows us to blend in again, basically. So I know it's really really complex. I'm I'm trying to sort of um, I'm trying to uh, to talk through it as we go. Uh, what are we going to do with you? Um, I mean, we could uh, we could researching. Uh, we could uh, go over and grab ourselves one of those pistols, but we really need a combat unit to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw him on top of here for now, and he can sit there. At the moment, you can see we've got a lot of homeless people around and stuff. That may uh, one enemy attack is planned, so we're probably going to have to take this guy out. So what we're going to do is uh, let's have a look. Where are you? You've got three AP, and I don't think... Well, you probably could, actually. If we throw you over to there, uh, I think what we might do is we might actually attack this guy now because he is going to attack us. Let's take him out. There we go. He was going to attack us in the, uh, in the next turn, um, or at the end of our turn, so we're going to sort of leave that, and hopefully that gets our... You can see now that we've got, uh, we've marked as de defective, which means that we are now a, uh, a marked robot and we're noticeable to, uh, to crowds and stuff. So what we want to do is we probably need to, if we can, we don't have any AP left. We're going to need to get rid of that. So we're probably going to have to head over here and remove that registration. Get ourselves another registration. He's still sitting down there. Uh, I don't think that there's anything else that we can basically do for this turn. Other than go into build mode. Into procurement. And start building some slurry spiders. Now you'll see that slurry spiders need to be connected to our network. So I'm going to build one there. One. We don't have any more CPU ready, so any more mental energy. So we're just going to leave it at that. And then we're going to uh, change turns, uh, like end our turn and see what happens now. All right, so cool. We've got three new handbook entries. Uh, gather spots uh, uh, Gather spots are infin infinitely deep, meaning that uh, when we set up our, our spiders to gather resources, they'll continually continually gather resources which is really really good resources essentially held so most resources require storage structures to increase their cap so we're going to need to build those at some point and resource display is con um, contextual uh, in the upper left corner it shows any resources related to your current projects and whatever building you have selected all right cool let's get rid of that Research is complete for lower calibre, and we don't have any ideas yet for uh, any further resource. Re research, my apologies. So at the moment we can't we can't do anything else. But what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to send this guy over here, and he needs to have street sense. And there isn't anywhere here that he can hijack that robot over here. I'm going to send him over there. He's going to murder that robot. And he's going to steal that robot's registration. And that's going to bring that defective mark back to blending in. Which is really, really cool. You're still blending in. I think what you can do, if we your street sense back on, is I think I might send you... 
Might send you over here, I think, to uh, ambush the uh, the security, the budget security. Okay, cool. So budget security are freelance agents who do work for hire um, for the lowest and middle class. Their jackets offer no protection, but have hoods that completely conceal their face. And surely that'd be useful for us at some point. So we've got 100% chance just to demand their, their clothes. We've got 90 five percent chance of succeeding if we just murder them i'm just going to demand their clothes like that and that's going to be that easy so i'm going to bring him back here as well lovely now we've got uh incoming damage from who are they syndicate enforcers so the syndicate enforcers have noticed us which means, what have we got? We've got one AP left there. So do we take cover? We've got imminent death next time. Let's just uh, bring that up. And I don't think we can research any clothes there. We can take cover. We've got uh, five mental energy. Let's hold off on him at the moment. And let's see if we can work out how we're going to take these guys out. You are invalid for two turns. You're invalid for another six. Looks like you're it. We might be in a little bit of strife here. But he's going to deal 281%. So basically next turn we are basically dead. So what I might try and do... If we activate Slayer, activating this ability puts you into a different mode. While in that mode, all keys and buttons work as normal, but you'll see different options. Your unit is likely to die next turn if this is your final action. Take cover. We're still going to die next turn if, uh, if we don't get rid of these guys. So I'm going to shoot at him. And I'm going to recharge him, which is going to cost us some brain power. I'm going to shoot him again. Going to recharge again. Yeah, I think we're we're pretty we're pretty well in uh, in a lot of strife at the moment. So I think we're going to lose this combat robot. <clears throat> and then the unfortunate thing is that these uh, but that the, these syndicate enforcers. Um, unfortunately, have noticed us really early on. So that's a, that's a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to get our nickel. Where are you? You've got no AP. We're pretty well stuffed at this point in time. Bugger. We're, we're actually going to, uh, we're actually going to lose our, uh, Lose one of our combat robots. Which, uh, unfortunately, we can't do too much about. So I'm going to have to end this turn because we have no... Well, we have AP left, but uh, there's absolutely nothing we can do. So there you go. These guys, like these guys, really, really take a lot of, da um, take a lot of damage. And it's unfortunate that... Um, it's, it's unfortunate that these guys have attacked us so early on before we are ready. Uh, what's going on with you? Nobody's going to attack us at the moment. What we might do is go over and recruit ourselves another android over here, which is unit. Uh, we'll customize him. Optical processing, shotgun. We need, uh, we need ways that we can, uh, let's send him over to there. These guys aren't going to attack us. It says that they are going to attack us. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. Probably because I jumped into that area as well. Um, and these guys are really, really, really difficult to kill, as you can see. 45% damage. Um, I 
What do we do? I think I might take cover. I think I might take cover on that and uh, sort of leave him sitting there taking cover. What can we do at the moment? Put, put your street sense on. Got uh, one more minute over there until that unit uh, is uh, has stolen that registration. Um, I think we're going to have to try and take this guy down. I think that's all I can really, really do. Let's try and do that, shall we? Uh, let's do a recharge because we're out of AP. Oh, are you serious? Okay, he's done. This guy here is moving. All right, so we may be okay. We may be okay. And we may also have enough to be able to build ourselves another one of these. We don't because it's going to cost us... Uh, I think it's going to cost us two to build one of those. No, we can build another one of those. Let's maybe build him over here where he can gather resources and we don't have any more left so that's the end of our uh, that's the end of our turn and i hope you guys are kind of understanding a little bit on what's uh, on what's going on here at the end of the next turn he's going to be fine uh you do not have any ap so nobody's got any ap it looks like it's uh Looks like it's uh, shared over the entire amount of bots, but we certainly don't have any ideas or anything either, so... Um, alright. I think... That's probably it, and that's all we can do. What's happened here? He's going to... I don't know what he's doing. Hmm, not sure exactly what he's doing. But what we might do is we might send, uh... I think until this has died down a little bit, we're going to send him over to there. Uh, this guy here now, as you can see, is uh, blending in. So that's really, really good. And I might send him to... I might send him over to this building here. Lovely, so there's no angered cohorts. Uh, I think this... What's this guy going to do? I don't know what he's going to do. I'm not sure. Alright, so what we're going to do now is... Uh, we've got four more turns until, uh, until that wiretap is done. And we're going to spend the rest of our AP on building... There is an enemy attack planned. Unit 15FF. Which is him. Okay, so we're, we're really going to have to take this guy out, I think. Right. That's used up all of our AP there. I don't think these guys can actually... Uh... Yeah, he's got two AP. Alright, we got rid of him. Alright, so threat has been eliminated. Beautiful. Got him out of the way. Hopefully it doesn't um, bring too much more, um, too many more, uh, like too many more eyes on us as well. Okay, slurry spider. We'll build another one of those. And our extra tools up here only give us a delete structure at the moment. So what we need to do is we need to be able to come up with the, uh, we need eight slurry spiders. We need to be able to come up with the idea to, um, uh, to be able to, um, build our micro builders which we need to, if, if we don't come up with the idea we can't research them at this point in time um now you've got street sense on is there anything here that you can do at the moment don't think so is there anything that you can do at the moment well, you don't have street sense on we should put street sense on and we probably should go for... Well, we've already researched small arms, haven't we? 
think we we already researched small arms, so let's just uh, let's just check what you've got. You've got a shotgun on you. Um, we can't do a, but you can put a security jacket on, which isn't going to help us at all, really. Uh, you can uh, put on a security jacket as well, and you can also put on. Uh, you don't have a primary weapon, but I think we'll take the light shotgun for you and we don't really have the ability anymore to put any other cloaks on or anything like that what about you you've got a security jacket uh you might also well, we've got slayer already so i'm just going to leave that sitting there for now all right so continuing on with our goal continuing on with our goal don't think there's anything else that we can do other than uh, other than you can uh, probably remove take cover I'm guessing doesn't really matter at this point in time okay lovely let's have a look at our robots nobody's got any heat on them so we're all in uh, you're taking cover still um, we're all yep we're all okay. There's no heat on us. We've got three more turns until that happens. Uh, what have we got around here that we can do? Um, there's really not too much around here, is there? Let's uh, take you, move you out to here and see if there's anything out in this direction that we can do. Doesn't look like there is. There's, uh, there's some more small arms there. So what I might do, I might, send, I might send a combat unit. I might send you out here. There we go, to take these guys' weapons. Or we can just ask for their weapon. Or we can just take their weapon. Either way, we're going to have a 100% chance because of our intimidation. So let's just take their weapon. And let's... Uh, I don't think there's much else that we can do around here, is there? So I think we might head... That's a big complex. I don't know what it is. It looks like it is. That's infantry. Must be a big military base or something. Uh, it looks to me like... We've got a disarmed gang lookout. One enemy attack plan. So they're gonna, they're planning on attacking us. What I might do is I might actually get out of here, I reckon. Let's head back over there. And we should be okay. Lovely. Alright, so. Where are we now? Uh, over here, we want to build ourselves some more. Little slurry spiders. So we've got one, two, three so far. I'm putting these over where, where resources are. Get one in there. And we could probably put one over here as well. And they'll gather resources from all of these buildings. Uh, what have we got left? We get well, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need eight, don't we? Maybe we can get some, maybe we can get one in over there. And we might be able to get one in over here somewhere as well. Maybe over here. There you go. Lovely. All right. Lovely. Cool. We'll get rid of that. We'll get out of that building mode. Uh, gang handguns. Source of weapons. Cheap and light, lightweight. Uh, smart but not deadly. That's another, that's a smart piston. And now we need micro builders. So basically, now that you have an automated supply of element, uh, elemental slurry on the way, it's time to design your own version of micro builders. And micro builders are also going to let us build buildings and stuff like that. Um, so let's start reverse engineering. Shouldn't take too long. And uh, we'll do micro builder first before we do anything else. 
and I'll just check whether or not uh, unit uh, whether tech 4000 can take a pulse revolver yep that'll do that'll actually be good I think probably we'll end up changing that over I reckon let's apply that change uh, unit 15F uh, what did you get? You got a shotgun. We have a secondary. Yeah, you can have a pulse revolver as well. All right, lovely. So we're going to end our turn now. There we go. Everybody's had their movement and stuff. We're all inconspicuous at the moment, which is what we want to maintain. We've got two more turns until our uh, tech robot has finished hacking that building, which is going to be good. Uh, we now have our research complete for our micro builder, uh, micro builders. So what we could probably do now is we can create our six micro builders. Now, again, people are going to wonder what the hell these micro builders are. <laughs> just, just living out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, just all of a sudden appearing and stuff like that. So there's three. We'll do another one over here. It doesn't really matter where they are. There. And we'll do another one just here. So that should be six. Is it one, two, three? One, two, three, four, five. Maybe one more, I think. And we'll just throw that just down here like so and that'll uh that'll last us until next turn the other thing that we can do is we can uh, look at building a wind generator as well because you need power to run all of this stuff so it's really really important that you have power to run all of this stuff at the moment we've got 19,000 elemental slurry because our uh, our spiders are bringing that in on our network so they're all scrounging for stuff so <clears throat> Uh, this will cost us 2,200 slurry, uh, and it should increase our power by, by the looks of it, 22,000. So what we can do is we can actually build that on our network tower. I think we can build it. No, we, we can't build it on our network tower. We actually need to build it out in an area like this, which actually... Provides us right through here. There's homeless tents, so everything's blocked there. I'm going to build it out there. We sort of can't at the moment. All right, that's fine. We won't. Uh, now, what else have we got around that we might be able to do? Well, let's have a look at these guys here. Uh, they've got street scents on. Over here is a homeless tent. Let's actually send our nickel bot over to the homeless tent, shall we? No. He's got street sense on and the homeless tent isn't here. Okay, so it may only be unit 55F that can do that. 15FF. Let's send him over here. Oh, I'm guessing that that, uh, that allows him to uh, regen his damage as well. What have we got down there? Sec Force Patrol hanging out there. So we've got to keep our eye on those guys. Uh, you've got Street Sense on and there's really nothing that you can do other than do a little bit of exploring. Uh, I think we might explore in this direction here and see if there's anything else out here that we can find. Any new research, any new people or anything like that. But... Um, We've got two more turns until that happens. Hide and self-repair. Okay, that's that's what that is. Lovely. Uh, our tech 4000 is... Uh, he's busy at the moment. Uh, you... What can we do with you? We could send you in this direction. Do you have any AP? You don't have any AP left. Nobody has any AP. All right, lovely. So we're going to end that turn there as well now. Turn has been ended. Somebody's called reinforcements. Something's going on down here. Yeah, it looks like there's a, a battle going on in here in the city and the environment and all that stuff 
is um it's it's a living city so there's small battles that go on and stuff as you can see all right so what do we got here dps report uh job groups with throughput issues one some resource chains not working as they should is that because we have only uh 38 percent losses to unavailable storage it looks like we do okay so we probably need more slurry spiders uh relating to i think i believe there's one slurry spider working the, working with uh there's two slurry spiders there hmm Let's have a squeeze at what we can do. Uh, research is complete for uh, slightly deadly. They, the little uh, things there. What have we got here? I think we need to build some more slurry spiders. I reckon that the problem is these here. I reckon that's the problem. These things here. No storage for output. So we're going to need to build some storage. But we don't have any storage anywhere at the moment. So it's going to be a little bit of an issue. So what we're going to do is I'm, I'm probably going to put a... I'm going to see if we can actually build this. It won't let us build it. For some particular reason. I don't know why yet. Hmm. Alright. Uh, new handbook entries as well. Which we can check. Uh, predicting subnets. As you build new structures. You'll see if it's going to be linked to an existing subnet. Or create a new one. The only two requirements for joining an existing subnet. Uh, and the connection to that building must not be crossing a road. Human buildings do not block subnet connections. Let your eyes unfocus and see the roads alone. Okie dokie. So that there is a problem. That's what the issue is. That one there and that one over here because it's crossing a road. So... Can we actually, uh, can we actually remove that? Remove that slurry spider. And remove that slurry spider. Right, so that's where our problem was. Lovely. We're going to need to build another two of these. So, uh, I might throw another one in here. One, and we'll throw one over here. Two, and they're connected to the net. And we are also going to need to build ourselves another two slurry spiders. Right, because we destroyed slurry spiders. So let's build one over there. And we'll set another one over to here, I think. Lovely. Right, cool. Uh wind generator, we still can't we still can't actually build our wind generator. We need three thousand five hundred uh from our macro builders, our micro builders. Okay, that's the reason why. Lovely. Alright, so that's it. So we've got one more turn there. Um, maybe we can build some more micro builders, but how are we going to go energy wise though? That's the question. Because um, we can't build that at the moment. Okay. All right, so can we build these? Uh, they require 116 energy, and I don't know whether we have enough energy, to be honest. But let's maybe throw another couple of these in, just in a couple of spots here. We don't have enough energy for it. All right, lovely. So we're going to skip the turn. There we go. And he has uh, electricity is per network. Uh, where are we? Electricity is per network. So to see how a network is doing electricity-wise, select any building and look at the right-hand side of the screen. 
Okay. So we, we definitely need uh, electricity summary is there. So uh, what have we got? We've got connected structures 18, electrical 1, refinery 8. We've got uh, computing cycles and we've got uh, generated electricity is 22,416 and we're consuming. So we've got 93% of energy remaining, which is pretty cool. So that does, that sort of doesn't really uh but nothing else here that we can do okay lovely let's get out of that and uh what did you discover some resources chains uh are not working as they should if not examined this may cause downstream issues so what do we need probably need to examine these perhaps okay so these guys are this guy isn't creating any this guy is yeah that's something that i'll need to work out all right lovely cool uh, i'm gonna leave this here anyway guys but as you can see we're only scratching a very 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 small uh um we're not even scratching the surface because you can see we're over here and this is the entirety of the city. That is the absolute entirety of the city. So you'll see that over here there's uh, there's things over here that, uh, that we can actually do as well. There's a mining site. Uh, there's a black down stronghold over there. There's an oil site there. Uh, there's cryogenic freezing and resuscitation over there so there's so many things there's uh, uh farms that provide local food and it's our job to slowly take all of this stuff over basically so um and uh and inconspicuously do it as well so uh yeah quite a, an interesting and uh very 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 where's our where's our building where are we gone Oh, Simi, where are you? Um, very dynamic and very... Um, there we go. There we go. We'll click on there. Um, and, and very interesting sort of turn-based kind of um, game that's, that's very... It's strategic. You've got to try and keep your... You've got to try and, you know, stay inconspicuous as you slowly take everything over. So, anyway, guys... Um, <clears throat> I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope I explained some of it because it is very, very complex. There's still a lot of stuff that I'm learning in it as well. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed having a squiz at it. Thank you, Hooded Horse, for sending this through. Uh, it's a game that's a uh, that's kind of within my personal enjoyment scope. Um, not necessarily something that the people on the channel um, would be interested in playing. I'm not sure, but. Um, but it's a very good strategy game anyway. So check it out. There's a link below. I will see you guys next time. Bye.